Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome to my channel, Hipsa. Today's video, as you guessed it by the title, is an empties video. And I have to be honest, I've been collecting these for at least two, three months at least. So do bear with me. I don't actually have that many items, but I've just been collecting them for a while. So I thought it would be time to actually give you guys a little video on them. If you don't know what an empties video is, it's just basically empties are products that I've used up. So I may need to go through skincare quite quickly. I have a couple of makeup items as well. I think I uh, maybe one or two. I like these videos because you get to have a quite a few re mini reviews in the video instead of just like separating the mini videos. So that's what I kind of like about these videos. You get a ton of reviews. Um, so here to see my thoughts if I'm going to repurchase them again, if I like them, if I didn't, that kind of stuff. So if you'd like to see what I have used up, please keep watching. Uh, one candle I have actually used up, and um, this is the Bath and Body Works Georgia Peach Candle. It is a very fruity, peachy kind of scent. It's not too sweet, which is what I like about it, but I'm not going to repurchase it just because I have a couple of more candles that I do want to use up first. And it's not like my favourite, favourite scent. I do like it though. So maybe down the line I will repurchase it, but I, I'm not, not yet. If you do like fruity, sweet kind of scents, then I would recommend picking this up. It is a really nice candle. Gosh, these two products I think I finished quite a while ago, at least in maybe June, May, June, something like that. Um, these are the Oile Natural White um, Day and Night Cream. So the day cream, which is this one, has an SPF of 15, I believe. No, sorry, SPF 24, and this is the night cream. I always like to use the day and night cream just so I can get a better um, idea of what how the cream works and stuff like that. I do like these creams because they do give a little bit of even tone to your skin. I don't think they necessarily make your skin fairer, but they do make it more even tone. And I do like the scent. The scent isn't too strong in them because I have sensitive dry skin and I have noticed that you know the more fragrance an item is, the more it will irritate my skin, but these ones don't. So I do like the scent, it's very light. Um, I won't be repurchasing these though again, just because I have noticed, especially the day cream, it does dry out my skin a little bit. And um, the night cream, not so much, but the day cream, yes. So I have already repurchased some other creams, which I'm gonna show you in a second. But yeah, these ones, I like I like them, but I'm not gonna repurchase them. The next product, I haven't finished one or two. I finished four, well, I guess they're two of each cream. So I guess I finished four of them. I have finished two of the Ole Complete Day Creams and two of the Ole um, Complete Night Creams. So these are the day creams and these come in two um, skin types. One is sensitive, I think one is just normal and dry. So I pick up the sensitive one and these are the just, I think, yeah, the normal and dry ones. So yeah, I picked up quite a lot of these. I repurchased them in June I think and I've already finished them up and I, I think it's because my sister's also trusting them out so she's just be boring mine because she tends to be sensitive to um, cream so she was just boring my stuff yeah so I finished it a little bit quicker than I normally do but these do last a nice amount of time this I really do like these creams they're just the complete um, range and the day cream has SPF 15 in it and it has 24 hour hydration, vitamins B, 3E and Pro V, B5. And yeah, I just, I really like Ole as a brand to be honest. Um, the, the, the night cream has pretty much the same, antioxidants, vitamin B3, Pro V, B5 and 24 hour hydration. So yeah, I like these. A little bit goes a long way. I have noticed sometimes I do need to take a little bit more of the night cream. Um, but yeah, the day cream does have that kind of thickness and just richness to it, which I really do like. So I can use a little bit and hence it lasts me for a nice amount of time. I do like the scent of these as well. It's the same thing. Lightly um, scented, not too strong, which I really like. I really find that the, the day cream version, which is this one, this one has like a kind of nostalgic feeling for me because my grandmother used to use these when, like, when I was little. Um, I think it was called the com Oily Complete Fluid or something at that time, but yeah, they've, I guess we packaged it. But yeah, so I really do like these creams. Um, so far, so good. I feel like my skin is just looks better as well. It looks healthier. It looks um, just moisturized without being greasy or anything because I do not like heavy creams on my face as well. So, so far so good. So I've already repurchased these again and I think I will maybe continue to repurchase these unless I find another skincare. I love trying skincare as you can probably tell. But yeah, so far so, so good. So the next item uh, is the Johnson's Face Care Daily Essentials Moisturizing and Cleansing Wipes and these are for dry skin as well. I really do like these because they don't irritate my skin. I used to use the Nivea ones and I noticed I think I'm just allergic to them because they would make my skin red, which is kind of normal because obviously you're rubbing 
your um, eyes and your face to remove the makeup but they would also make my eyes puffy so I just stopped using them I thought it was something else like a new mascara I had been trying but it was actually the wipes so these ones thankfully don't they obviously of course like I said they do make your skin a little bit red because you're removing um, your makeup with a little bit of force um, but yeah I really do like these they don't have much of a scent which is what I do appreciate as well it's not it's very light it says it has a new fragrance but it's very light so it doesn't bother me um, it just effectively remove my makeup without irritate, irritating my skin too much. I already repurchased them, so I didn't want to run out of them just yet. I like using these on lazy kind of days, like if I don't want to use a liquid makeup remover, which is this one is the one, if you're curious, that I tend to use. Um, the Clinique one. The, I'll show you the next one, which is also an empty of mine, which is what I was using before. But yeah, I really do like these. Ordinary. So a liquid makeup remover that I finished, I don't know if I remember mentioning it in my last empties video but this is the sephora waterproof eye makeup remover and i tend to use it for everything like a little bit of my face a little bit of my uh, lips um and my eyes mainly but i think mainly my eyes and my lips i really do like this makeup remover um i got the mini one just to kind of try it out you can already see that it's like a bluey kind of color and you just shake it up and it's fine but yeah i really do like it it effectively removes my makeup um without kind of stinging or irritating my, irritating my skin i am tempted to get the bigger one once i have finished the clinique one because i do really like this because it's not too oily i feel um because obviously some makeup removers are very oily because they have to remove the waterproof makeup as well but yeah i really do like this one so far it does effectively remove so we makeup. have one more skincare item after this and then we on to the makeup the items um, this is the Nivea body lotion. It's the express hydration so it's For like 24 hour noticeably smoother skin. It has sea minerals in it. It's normal to dry skin. I do like this cream. It does absorb fast um, It has a nice light scent which it doesn't bother me But I'm not going to repurchase this just yet because I have another cream that I want to finish first Which is the Nivea nourishing one. Um, I did like this though. So I, I I don't know, I, I like kind of alternating my creams and like my skincare just because I want to try different things. So if you have any recommendations for dry sense to skin, do leave them in the comments below. Um, yeah, this lasts me a really long amount of time. It is the 400ml bottle. I also finished the, I think it was a 250 bottle um, when I was away on my trip. And yeah, I finished that. So that's another one I, I, I accidentally threw in the bin. So yeah, so this, um, yeah, so I finished quite a bit of this. Yeah, do like it so far, but not going to repurchase it purchase it just yet so the last skincare items i don't really actually talk about nose pore strips but i do use them these are the pretty cosmetics nose pore cleansing strips and i do like them but i don't know i don't think i would repurchase them as yet because i didn't find them like 100 percent effective like there would be a couple of maybe pores on like block pores still on my nose but i'm always looking for a good nose pore strip which is still affordable because some of them can be really pricey you get six of these um in the box which is pretty like standard but yeah i do like them but i don't think i'm gonna repurchase them just yet um because i like another brand i think it's the cool and cool brand which i prefer a little bit better they are a little bit more effective if you have any recommendations do let me know in the comments below because i'm always on the hunt for good nose pore strips oh i forgot about these i finished three lip balms finally so this one is the labella original one which i absolutely love and i am actually having trouble finding this now but yeah one of my favorite lip balms definitely will repurchase it at some point i have some other lip balms i do want to try out first but one of my favorites this one is the labello sun protect um, it has spf 30 and i think because of the high spf it leaves a white cast on your lips so i had trouble using this up um it just it wasn't nice i used to use it before my makeup but when i used to go to bed that kind of stuff but i would not be wearing it outside because of that white cast but it is still ni a nice lip balm um, it does leave a little bit of a moisturizing on your lips but this one is way more moisturizing and hydrating and lasts for a long good amount of time so i would definitely purchase this more than this one um, and it's really inexpensive as well it's like nine dirhams this is the rituals cosmetics peppermint lip balm and i do really like this it has like the nice pepperminty feel to it and scent to it but it's i just feel like it's not as hydrating as my labello original one um, so I may purchase this. I, I have one high-end makeup product that I finally finished, which is the Roller Lash Mascara. I don't know if I finished as such as it's still going strong, but I feel like I've had it for such a long time. It's time to pin it now. Um, I have some other mascaras that I do want to try as well. I love this mascara. I just, I love it. I, it's, it just gives the volume and the curl that I love in my eyelashes. This is what the the wand looks like. So you get a bit of curl, you get your volume, you got you got your length as well. Um, yeah, it's it's a cult favorite for a reason. I know some people don't like it, some people do, but I love it. If you want to try it, get a sample size, and then you can 
um, kind of see if you like it or not, but yeah, one of my favorite mascaras. So I will repurchase it once I finish the other mascaras that I do have. Um, okay, last couple of items I thought I'd just kind of bunch together. They're all from e.l.f. Cosmetics, so they're the affordable makeup. Um, I really do like the eyeliner from them, the waterproof eyeliner pen. It's really nice. Um, it really gives you a nice precise line. You can control how thick or thin you want it. Um, but it did dry out a little bit. I think I just had used it up, to be honest. Um, but it is. Oh, or not. Okay. <laughs> I thought it finished, funnily enough. So yeah, I still have some to go, so I'll put it back, I guess. But yeah, I really do like this eyeliner. Um, I'm surprised. It still has quite a little bit left to go. Oh, okay. Maybe it just had... I need to... You have to store it upside down, basically. Um, and then therefore it will, the ink will come up while it's going everywhere. Yeah, so the nib is really nice and fine as well. You can control how thick or thin you want it. So that is going to go back into my makeup collection because I thought that I had finished actually. So I'll just go into my uh, drawer. I really do like that pen as well. This, um, I'm 50-50 on. I didn't really like it. So I thought it was just time to get rid of it because I don't use it. It's quite old as well. Um, it's just the e.l.f. eyeshadow primer, I think. I don't know if it's dried up as well. Yeah, I don't think it, yeah, it's just like a beige kind of one. I don't think it really did anything. It didn't really conceal. I prefer using um, concealer or I'll just use a like jumbo eye pencil from NYX um, for, you know, my, my eyeshadow. So speaking of concealer, this is the e.l.f. I think it's the, I'll put the name across the screen because I never remember the name, but I think it's like the studio concealer. I do like this concealer, but I have noticed that when I blend it out, it does look a little bit powdery on my skin because I have dry skin. So I think this may be a little bit better for oily skin as well. It does give nice coverage to your to your um, face. You have see you have a lot of coverage as well in it. But yeah, I think I just thought it would be time to get rid of it because I'm not using it as often because of that powderiness um, that it gives. Um, so yeah, I thought it just time to kind of bin it because I have had it for like like. An, a long time as well so that's it guys thank you so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video do let me know in the comments below if you tried any of these products did you love them did you hate them as well as if you have any requests or, or first impressions you want me to do any specific product do let me leave them down below because i love hearing from you guys as well as that i'll also link my social medias down below in the description box so if you like please do follow me on those because you'll that way you'll be kept in know of when i do upload so as the odd one or two posts um i just use all my social media so instagram twitter facebook um, so yeah, those kind of things. And yeah, I think that is pretty much it. So thank you again so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.